Hello everyone, I'm Sebastian Y and this is Foundations of Economics. In this video I'm going to solve an exercise on a graphical analysis of the long-run equilibrium in a perfectly competitive market. We're given our side-by-side -side graphs of the market and a representative firm in that market. First we want to know what is the short-run market price. For that we need to figure out the price where the quantity supplied equals the quantity demanded. That's just going to be the point where our supply and demand curves cross and so that's going to be an equilibrium price of 80. Next we want to draw the firm level demand curve onto the firm graph and determine the profit maximizing output per firm in the short run. We're now going to take our price of 80 and we are going to continue that all the way across to our firm graph. This is why we always want to draw our price axes across the two graphs on the same scale. I'm then going to draw a horizontal line and that's going to be our demand curve on the firm side. The firm's marginal cost curve is also its supply curve. So where that crosses the firm level demand curve, we're going to have our profit maximizing quantity of 20. I'm going to use a lowercase e to indicate our equilibrium quantity for the firm. Next we're going to sketch a box on the graph showing the firm's profit. We're going to use the formula for profit pi equals Q times P minus ATC. We know Q is 20, P is 80. We can find the average total cost by looking on the graph. At a quantity of 20, we have an average total cost of 50. And so our profit box is going to be this box right here base of the quantity of 20 and height of the difference between the price and the average total cost at 20. To calculate that, we'll plug in all our numbers. Quantity of 20, price of 80, and an average total cost of 50. That's going to come out to 600. The last question is to determine the market price in the long run equilibrium. And then we're going to sketch the new market supply curve in the long run. The key thing to remember here is that the long run price is going to be the minimum of the ATC, which is where the marginal cost crosses the ATC. We know that's going to be 40. If I continue our dotted line all the way across the graph at 40, that's going to tell us where our long run equilibrium point is going to be on the market side. And that's going to be where that price of 40 crosses our demand curve. The supply curve is going to pivot clockwise or pivot to the right until it passes through that point. And so our new supply curve is going to look something like that. So we're going to write that the price in the long run is 40 and we sketched in our new market supply curve. The final question is to calculate the firm's profit in long run equilibrium. In long run equilibrium, price equals average total cost and so profit in the long run is zero and it is always going to be zero in the long run. Going back up to the graph to see this, in the long run our firm is going to produce 10. At that point our box for the profit has been squeezed down to a height of zero because price equals average total cost. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.